Hi, I'm Joseph, and I'll be playing Odysseus. Greetings, gods, goddesses, mortals, and everything in between. I'm the clever, courageous, strong, and tall Odysseus, the conqueror of Troy, the son of Laertes, and the king of Ithaca. I'm sure you've all run into me at some point in time. Now, I heard you guys wanted to hear all about my journey from the beginning to the end. In that case, we shall start on book five of the Odyssey. That would be page number... Just kidding, that book was written by a blind guy who couldn't even see me being awesome. So let me tell you about how my hero journey really went from the beginning. Now, as I'm very sure you all know, it was kind of, sort of, maybe all my fault we won the Trojan War with my ingenious idea to build that giant wooden horse. But do you know how hard it was to build that damn thing? I mean, seriously, that thing was over 80 feet tall, and we had to make it so that we could fit 30 people in there. It was terrible being cramped in there for so long, especially when someone had to use the bathroom. I still have nightmares about being peed on to this day. I wouldn't have had to go through any of that if it weren't for that bitch Helen. If it weren't for her, I would have been at home watching my son grow up, not blinding that dumb cyclops, getting my men turned into pigs, visiting the kingdom of the dead, listening to the sirens, having my men eaten by Scylla, and spending seven extremely long and dreadful years on Calypso's island. The worst part of all that was being on that damned island with Calypso. While she might have been very kind, caring, and extremely hot, there was one thing I didn't understand about her. Why did she still want to be with me after all those years? I really thought that she would have taken a hint when I was crying myself to sleep every single night. <laughs> all I could think about while I was there was my family. Line. I just wanted to go back home and see them so badly. While I might not have liked being on Calypso's Island for so long, I'm still thankful for how understanding she was when it came time for me to leave. If it weren't for Hermes, I wouldn't have ever gotten off that island. Another time Hermes saved my sorry ass was when I was about to go and visit Circe. Hermes gave me Somali that prevented Circe from turning me into a pig like the rest of my crew. Circe's my number one hoe, though. She gave me directions on where to go next when I was completely lost. She also helped me and my men out in numerous ways, if you know what I mean. Two of the most important things she told me about were Scylla and the Sirens. If it weren't for her advice, I would have either been lured to my death by the sirens or eaten by Scylla. I felt bad knowing that I was sending all of my men to their deaths, though. It made me feel even worse that their last word before being eaten by Scylla was Odysseus. This fueled my determination to get home, though, because I wanted to make sure that their deaths weren't worthless. Some people may say that I'm not a hero because I knew my men were going to die. And I can't agree. It was kind of greedy to disregard them for my benefit. In my defense, I am a heroic Greek warrior who hadn't seen my family in many years. I'm 100% sure that if any of you were in my situation, you would have done the same. Unfortunately, while I was on my adventure, my beautiful wife, Penelope, was back home waiting for my return. Lucky for me, she was the most faithful wife a man could ask for. Two hoes and 20 years later, she still loves me. <laughs> I'm very glad you didn't get married to that stupid, cocky Antonus fellow. Oh, how good it would feel to kill you a second time. Oh, wow. Seems I have my grape bow with me. Maybe I should shoot you with it. <laughs> oh, how good it felt to kill you a second time. Now go scurry along to the underworld. Oh, and if you see my mother, Anticlea, while you're down there, Please say hi to her for me. <laughs> Speaking of the underworld, I saw that weird blind guy, Tiresias, while I was down there asking for information about where to go next. He kept looking at me very weirdly while we were speaking. Now that I think about it, it was the same way Calyps the same look Calypso and Cersei gave me right before we did the nasty. <laughs> that might have been a lasting side effect of his gender change, though, so I guess I can't blame him or her. <laughs> There were quite a few people that helped me on my journey, but there was one who clearly helped more than the others. No, it wasn't Hermes, Ty Circe, Tiresias, or even Zeus, and it was definitely not the sheep. It was none other than gray-eyed Athena herself. She helped me out so much by convincing Zeus that it was my fate to return home and kill all those wooers. She provided me with courage, bravery, and strength when I was at my weakest. She was like a mom to me when I was far from my real loving mother, Anticlea. She sure was nice to me. Unlike that troubling Poseidon, P 
Poseidon caused me so much trouble when I was trying to return home. And it was just because I blinded his stupid son. You can't blame me for blinding Polyphemus. He was eating up my men like Antinous ate the booty. <laughs> anyway, now that I'm home safe home in Ithaca, and you can't, where you can't hurt me, I present to you one of my most prized possessions. The head of Polyphemus. <laughs> yeah, I just stumbled upon his dead body floating in the water one day when I was taking a stroll. He probably fell into the ocean because he couldn't see where he was going. Surprised you didn't find it considering the god of the ocean and all. His eyes kind of messed up, but you can have it if you want it. After all you've done, you really thought that I would forgive you. <sighs> all that talking has really made me tired. I really need rest because tomorrow, Telemachus and I are going on a huge fishing trip. I'm sure it'll be a really fun bonding experience as long as we don't accidentally venture over to Scylla. I hope he likes it because I need to do something with him to make up for the 20 years I was gone. Anyway, it's past my bedtime and I've really got to go. Hit me, Hermes.